Good morning, guys, and welcome to your market show for this Friday, July 6th, 2018. And let's get right started and let's open up the charts right here. Uh, listen, welcome to the show, guys. And uh, first thing we're going to start on is we're going to start on cryptocurrency this morning. Uh, it hasn't really went anywhere in the last day or so. Uh, it went up quickly, up to 6,550 or roughly that area, 6,549 right now. It's been staying roughly in this area. It's very slowly climbing, actually, though. Uh, if you take a look at this bottom it made here at 5,774 dollars. Uh, if you take and you draw a line up through here, like it's just right up through there, if you draw a line. Uh, what, you, what you notice is, 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 a, is a climb here, and it's still climbing, uh, really, to tell you the truth. Even though it come up to here to like 6,700 bucks and it's dropped off to 65, still if you, if you draw this line across here, you, you can see that it's, it's, uh, it's climbing back up. Now, I'm expecting this price to go up to probably around 7,500 bucks or thereabouts, uh, and then I'm expecting it to drop off again and make a new low. Now, it's, this would be the third bottom, if it makes this bottom. And, and, and then it'll probably stay there for a little while, uh, stay down for a little while. And then she's going to probably roar back into a bull market again. Uh, now, the question, the big question, is how long is it going to take before the bull market starts? I don't have that answer. Uh, all I know is you're probably going to have more buying opportunities before the big next bull market starts in, in cryptocurrencies. And I would expect that the bull market in cryptocurrencies is going to start after the, uh, after the inflation really starts to set in. Now, there could be a very, very powerful deflationary period coming up that will uh, have a very profound impact on this. Uh, now, let's take a look here at the silver price today. Let's switch over to silver. Uh, what we're going to see here is uh, that today the silver price is running around 16 bucks. It's uh, 15.98 right now, but it has been up a little bit over uh, 16 bucks uh, earlier in the day. Uh, right now it's running at 15.98, but uh, I expect it's going to. Uh, End the day probably around 1605 or something like that. It's in a very tight, narrow range here, uh, in around 16 bucks. Uh, there's not much news in silver right at this moment, uh, so let's uh, switch over to cryptocurrency market capitalizations. Uh, 268 billion dollars today. Oh, the Bitcoin dominance of 42.5%. Uh, we're looking at red numbers across the board here, but uh, if you see a good red number, uh, that's a that's a coin that's uh, like I owed it today, a dollar ten. It's down seven point nine three percent. There's a good opportunity right there in and, and IOTA, and then there's a good opportunity in Neo here too, at thirty eight dollars and and seven and eighty one cents. It's down eight point two five two four percent. EOS is down 4.36%. Now, these are the biggest movers down, and that's the most likely candidate to pick a couple of those coins up because they're going to probably bounce a little bit if Bitcoin goes up some. Um, the uh, Bitcoin itself is only up 0.97% at $6,651. Uh, so that's your cryptocurrency market capitalizations. Now, let's take a look at the Dow Jones. Has it started yet? 1027. We got three more minutes to go before the Dow starts. Uh, so let's take a look at oil prices right now. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a move downwards in the oil price. Uh, it's down 59 cents, 0.81 percent, 72 dollars and 35 cents, uh, from a peak of 74 dollars and 25 cents. So we're seeing a little bit, a little bit of a move down. It's not a big move down, but a small move down in oil. Let's take a look at bonds and rates. Bonds and rates today, uh, all the numbers are down across the board. Let me pull the chart in here a little bit so we can see. 
Okay, so we see all the numbers down across the board. I want to talk about this for a minute. I'm not so worried about the yield curve. Uh, uh, I'm not so worried about a flattening yield curve. What I'm worried about here is, is they started with 10 billion more this month of so-called reverse quantitative easing and their quantitative tightening program that they call it. They're up to $40 billion a month. And this market's not budging. In fact, the the uh, bond yields are dropping. This is impossible unless unless the Fed's lying about everything that they're doing, unless they're lying through the teeth, unless they're lying through their teeth, unless they're not really doing quantitative tightening. They're just saying they're doing quantitative tightening, and they're actually doing quantitative easing. This is the only way, if these bonds yields don't start to move upwards, it means that they're actually buying their own bonds, in my mind, you know. Uh, if these yields don't start to move up, with them going to $40 billion this month, if they're really trying to uh, uh, roll over $40 billion a month, in in, in uh, every month, every single month, and and they and they're not moving these numbers, so we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, I'm gonna hold back judgment a little bit longer, but I mean this. Uh, the, look at all these numbers. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Something fishy's going on here. Uh, and and I'm gonna tell you what. If they're lying to everyone out there, and if they're really sneakily doing backdoor quantitative easing. In other words, they, they're doing the same quantitative easing they did uh, during the financial crisis, you know, quantitative easing one, two, three, Operation Twist. If they're still doing that, but they're lying about it, and they're saying they're doing the opposite of what they're really doing, it's going to come out in the wash. We're going to see the U.S. dollar start to fall. We're going to see inflation start to really pick up, and we're going to see this thing uh all they're all they're doing is is uh is, is lying we're going to see the effects of what the what their lies are in the end we'll see the effects of their lies what would happen is is the market crash would be if if they're actually lying and they're actually monetizing the debt secretly and they're actually buying the bonds still themselves then what would actually happen is, is we would avert a market crash and the, and the stock market would just continue to go up and these bond yields would continue to stay down. But ultimately what would happen is, is the dollar would, would be the resulting uh, uh, fatality of all of this. Uh, we would go right into our hyperinflation uh, ultimately. We'd have a little bit of an economic recovery, which is what we could actually be starting to see. <laughs> Maybe they are actually doing this. Uh, because look, look, uh, I expected, uh, here we are, and I was predicting uh, that uh, this month right here, uh, that uh, the first week or so, we would be, see these yields pop. And we're seeing exactly the opposite. Look at these numbers. They're going down. They're going in the opposite direction of what I predicted. Uh, and there's, in my mind, this is just something is not fitting. So we'll give it a couple more weeks, and we'll see if these numbers pop or not. And if they don't, I'm going to start to think that the Fed is actually monetizing their own debt, that they're actually lying, completely lying, and they're actually doing the exact opposite of what they say they're doing, which would put a strange twist in everything, you know. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see what's really happening here. It wouldn't be the first time, though, that uh, that we that we've been lied to by government. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, U.S. dollar index here. 9403. 9403 is down a little bit, you know, the dollar. Uh, this would be reflected in the silver price. If we look at these bounces here in the dollar, uh, the dollar uh, it took a bounce down right here, and then it took a little jot back up again. Now let's take a look at the silver price. Uh, okay, so what, what do we see here? Uh, if we take a look at this bottom chart in silver, uh, we see it reflected that little bounce up in the, uh, uh, was when the dollar was going down, and then this uh, little bounce down is when the dollar was going up and then back up again. And so this little bouncy bounce in the silver price right here on this bottom chart is, is uh, look at the bottom chart, is reflected exactly in the, what the dollar's doing here on these bounces in the dollar. 
And so silver follows, uh, the silver price is following the dollar price uh, today. Uh, right now, what the dollar is doing is reflecting it. Well, it's reflected in gold too. We should be able to actually see a clearer image of it in gold. Let's take a quick look here at the uh, live chart of gold. Okay, well, we see basically the same bounce pattern in gold. You know, silver follows gold exactly, uh, gold almost identically, but uh, it can separate from gold if silver starts to move up ahead of gold. Uh, the silver to gold ratio can actually change. Uh, right now, we're at an extremely uh, weird gold to silver ratio. So gold is $255.40 today, up $1.90. So now let's move back to the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones should be open. And in fact, it is. Uh, we're down 61 points on the day so far. Uh, 24,295. So there you have it, guys. There's your market report for today. A little bit of a short report. Um, and we'll see you on Monday for the, uh, for the next market report. If it's not a holiday, if it is a holiday, uh, uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye-bye for now.